welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, guidance, advice. And um, I want to uh, point out an interesting little piece of uh, interpretation done with respect to uh, a verse from the book of Numbers, chapter 1532. Seemingly innocent, innocuous verse. But in Israel, the Jewish people, the children of Israel were in the wilderness, and they found a man gathering wood. Um, I'm not going to get into the, the story of what happened to this guy, but he didn't end up very well. And in, again, reference to the spies, when Moses sent the spies to, into Israel, to Eretz Israel, one of the things he asked them to do is to find out if there's a trees or not. Uh, Rashi uses the word tree as a reference to an Adam Kasher, a decent, righteous man who, through his merit, would protect the inhabitants of Canaan. His, uh, through the, his merit, through his swiss, he would, uh, he would protect them. Eight, a tree, also means wood, is an allusion to a pious, upright person in whose merit a community or even an individual is sustained. But in order to receive the merit of this tzaddik, of this righteous person, one must be machshiv, one must recognize the value and appreciate the tzaddik. Um, if a person knocks the Torah scholar, knocks every Torah scholar, knocks every rabbi here and there, if he determines who is a scholar and who isn't, who's a righteous person, who's not, who's a rabbi, who's not, he cannot expect the tzaddik's merit to preserve him in his time of need. It was uh, Rav Meir of uh, Premishlan who suggests that the wood gatherer, the makoshesh eitzim, the gatherer of wood in this situation, it's a metaphor for someone who selects and determines, not just gathers, but he selects and determines who is an eights, who is a tree, who is a righteous person, and who is not. This mikoshish, this wood gatherer, denigrated tzaddikim. He denigrated uh, righteous people. He decided who is worthy of being an eights. How can one who degrades tzaddikim expect to be sustained by them? And in this case, accordingly, he was not. I have recently and quite sadly uh, been told by a very dear friend, very dear friend, that she was unfortunately um, witnessed and hear, heard a rabbi denigrate and mock and ridicule and... Uh, put down other rabbis. Oh, this one's this, this one's that, he doesn't know this, he doesn't know that, he's a quote-unquote rabbi in quotes, and she was rightfully very upset. She, she bared her soul to me, and how much it hurt her that someone who was himself a rabbi, why didn't he know better? Why, why, did, why does he do this? Why, who is he to judge who is an a righteous person or not, who's a, a, a scholar, a chacham or not, who's an eights and who isn't. I said that um, we should pray. We should pray for him, that his eyes are opened. Because how can one who degrades tzaddikim expect to be sustained by them? We're going to be doing other videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.